to Angels Weekly, presented by your SoCal Toyota dealers. I'm your host, Alex Curry. We begin our show this week with a touching story about a close member of our Angel family, Rod Carew. As many of you know, Rod had been on the waiting list to receive a new heart and kidney since suffering a massive heart attack back in 2015. This past December, former NFL tight end Conrad Ruin suffered a fatal brain aneurysm at the age of 29. Soon after, through the miracle of modern medicine and Conrad's organs, Rod Carew received a second chance at life. Now these two men and their families have a new bond and a very important mission to help save lives. At a recent game, the Ruland family joined Rod Carew and his wife Rhonda for a very special first pitch in memory of Conrad. As you can see, organ donation, I'm living proof. If I wasn't able to get Conrad's heart and kidney, I might not be here. And so now we're going to live together. We're going to go on and do a lot of great things to help other people. Conrad Rulin grew up in Orange County and was a standout football player at Mission Viejo High School. Wide open is Rulin inside the 20 yard line and down to the 16. Conrad went on to play college football at Notre Dame and Stanford before playing three seasons as a tight end in the NFL. I truly believe somehow in some divine way that Conrad is up, up there smiling down and I think he chose the people that his, or, his uh, organs went into and he chose a wonderful family like the Carus to let him live on and, and I'm just really happy that they are doing well and, and we've become one big happy family. I just hope that we can maximize all of our opportunities here to help mankind to move forward here and hopefully save a lot more lives in the process so so many people aren't dying waiting for an organ to save their life or improve their life so I hope everybody jumps on the bandwagon out there and, and decides that if it's right for them that they sign up and become organ donors to, to really make a difference. Conrad's legacy will continue to push life into the heart of Rod Carew, a rhythmic reminder that the new journey has just begun. There it is. The first time we met, she rested her head on my chest, listened to his heart, and I just had to hold it back because I, it was so emotional, and it was really emotional. And hopefully, we're hoping that people will listen to us and understand what we went through so that they don't go through it. We also want to give those people that don't have a chance to continue living fruitful lives and, you know, doing things that they want to do. With a story like Rod Carew, and everybody wants to remember Rod Carew because they're so happy Rod's healthy and they, they know him. He's, he's a family member, but there's another family. And I, I always find it amazing how the Carew family understands what the Ruland family is going through because they were so close to death. Rod Carew and his family, they were on death's door. And then now there's another family that, that has great loss. And if you've ever been in the room when the two families meet for the first time, it's gut-wrenching. It's just gut-wrenching. And to hear him tell the story about mom, hear the heart. They, they, they get to hear their son's heart again. And it doesn't make it any easier that you've lost your son, but there is some measure of comfort knowing that he lives on. And it's tough. I mean, it's, it's hard for that family. Another former angel who is intimately aware of the importance of organ donation is David Eckstein. David has had multiple family members who have been organ recipients and organ donors. Hopefully it sends out a good message to the community, hey, we can help each other out. And, and through some tough times, you actually can bring joy to another family. So please, if you're going to make that decision, please make that decision to sign up. People need education. And what we found over the years is people may have a tendency to say no when they're approached uh, because they're not educated. Because we hear a lot of times from donor families or from families that have been approached afterwards, why did you say no? They say, I just didn't know enough. So we've learned we need to educate more people. And that's what all of this is about. That's why having Rod and David and the Ruland family here, uh, there can be a powerhouse to get that education out there um, to be, let people know what good comes from a tragedy. I think if you can help mankind, somebody else, why not? I mean, he was going to 
he wasn't going to make it, so why not help somebody else? And we're just very fortunate that it helped some very wonderful people. I mean, I'm not just saying it helped Rod, but it helped the whole family. So um, it's a good feeling. I mean, it's comforting in some ways. The Rulins still face the void of the loss of their son, Conrad, but with the consolation that he has left a living heart to bound new family ties. I am extremely proud of him. I've always been proud of him. I know that Conrad is happy, looking down with a smile on his face. I'm not as happy because he's not here, but I'm happy because his legacy is here and he's creating a legacy and we're finishing his book for him. The way he lived, always doing for others, and was always willing to, to give of himself. That's just the way he lived and for this now to happen, he's gonna be giving in so many ways by getting people aware of what organ donation is all about and to not have a fear factor with it and to give them thems uh, of themselves uh, to help others. So it's going to have a tremendous impact in society. I know it is. It's going to be a, a big boost. And um, so you know, it's going to be it's an awesome thing. It's typical Conrad. It just, it, that's what I expect what would have expected from him is something like this after he passes. And it's a legacy like this is she really speaks to who he was as well. visit DonateLifeCalifornia.org. And for more information regarding healthy living for your heart, visit the American Heart Association at heart.org.